Hey guys, a new toy just arrived today for this baby and this is the one I'm talking about and let's unbox this package. So a guiding cam. I think you already know what it is. It's a guiding scope. Yay. <laughs> and this one is a 60 millimeter guide scope. And yeah. Very happy about this. That's for focusing. And here I will connect my camera, my 120mm mini CWO camera, guiding cam. It's a mono cam. Yeah, this is for attachment to my scope. Well, this one and yeah some screws for attachment and that's it Okay, I just attached it here and yeah, of course I have to uh, align this or realign this most probably the screws here, but yeah, that's the first alignment or setup. Okay, and as I said before, this is the 120, is the CWOSI 120mm mini mono cam, guardian cam. Uh, here it is. So you have different cables here. You have a USB cable, USB type C, I guess. And you also have a CD4 cable for um, guiding, but you will not need it. So you can use it. Uh, you can insert it in the camera and then the mount for guiding, but you also can um, do it uh, using the USB cable, which I will most probably do as far as I uh, no so far and um, this is the cam It's so tiny Wow Fits in the palm of my hand here. That's so nice Yeah, so as I said before you have a CD4 connection and you have a USB type C I guess it's USB type C and yeah, you already have attached this extension ring here. You have a cap. Let's see. Can you see how tiny the sensor is? <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. And so you will take your camera, connect it, and attach it to your guide scope. So you move the cap and this cap as well so you can see the sensor and you just insert it here. Yeah. Like this. Yeah, and here you have it. So you just connect your cables here you will need and that's it. And yeah, I like this scope very much because um, it's very nice for focusing because of course you can do your focusing with this motion here. Only slight uh, movements are already enough to get in focus or rough focus. And then you can do uh, the fine adjustment focus using this ring here. Yeah. yeah and this is for to fix the ring here. Yeah, and here we have it.
So let's speak about the guiding camera. To be perfectly honest, I did not invent the wheel a second time, right? So there are many, many very satisfied um, users, as the photographers, which are using this camera for guiding. Um, and that's why I choose it. When I selected my dedicated ASSO cam, so this one, my first ever dedicated ASSO cam, I did a lot of research, right? And I'm using the uh, CWO ASI 385MC color camera. I like it very much. So let's speak about the guiding scope. I'm not experienced in guiding my telescope at all. So I watched um, some YouTube videos um, to get an idea about this and um, yeah, how to connect, which camera, which guiding scope and so on. Um, there were several videos, um, but one which was um, really excellent for me, it was quite short and very nice for first introduction to this topic, was a video um, about the guiding from uh, Joe, from Joe's Astrophoto. And I highly recommend this video. That's why I also put it into the description of this video. And in general, I highly recommend his YouTube channel. It's really excellent. He has um, a few videos about guiding and how you can improve your guiding and also other stuff. Uh, so really excellent content. And I highly recommend his channel. So in this video I watched from Joe, uh, he talked about the ratio between your main scope and your guiding scope. And your ratio between your main telescope and your guiding scope, uh, if you are using a separate guiding scope and not an off-axis guider, should be at least 1 to 4 and not much bigger than that. There's a very nice uh, calculator for this uh, on the ASTO tool website, as you can see here. You just insert some data of your camera and the focal length of your main scope, focal length of your guiding scope and the pixel size and so on. And you will get a ratio um, for this setup. So I did this, I entered the values of my scope, of my main camera, um, of this setup, of the scope uh, focal length and the uh, camera pixel size of the guiding cam. And as you can see, I have a ratio of about 1 to 1.8. So I would say it's uh, future proof so far. Um, that's why I selected this scope. And I think it fits perfectly to my Apple. Uh, it's the same brand and so on. And I'm very happy with the optics and so on. And yeah, that's a ED telescope. It's an Acromat uh, telescope. But I think for guiding, it's very nice. As you can see here on the website of the supplier for the scope and for the guiding scope, um, they have a picture which shows the guiding scope attached here. To be honest, I don't really like this idea because I will have my axis here, my rotation axis around here. And the scope, which is not, which is not super heavy, but it has some weight, uh, would be here. So not in the same rotation axis as the main scope is. But nevertheless, I will attach this guiding scope here to my main telescope. Thank you for watching and see you next time, clear skies.